Hello everyone and welcome back to Mistledine Online, Pokemon Fire Red Episode 30! I can't believe it, and what better way to celebrate Episode 30 than uh, maybe going and getting our first legendary Pokemon that we can receive in this game. So, we in the last episode, we defeated Blaine of the Cinnabar City Gym, the Fire uh, Cinnabar Island, I should say, it's not really a city. So, we find ourselves here on Kindle Road. Now, there are actually two new Pokemon that we can find here. By surfing, you can get Tentacruel, but we've already kind of uh, talked about Tentacruel whenever we did talk about uh, Tentacool. So, it's worth mentioning that you can actually get that now by simply... All you have to do is surf. And it will show up. Alright, so right here we're going to go ahead and battle this trainer. I'm beginning to get a Sunburn. So we're going to go ahead and take her down. In this episode, the main plan, she's going to have three Pokemon, which is fine. Uh, Swimmer Abigail is going to send out a level 35 Psyduck, which is pretty cool. Obviously, we're going to be able to destroy it, which is why I put you in front, because we're surfing. Uh, we'll be able to teach this Psyduck who's boss right away. Uh, I'm actually forgetting something, though. Before we do this, we should go to a Mart and, uh, and fill up on as much as we possibly can. So she's going to send out another level 36 Psyduck. We'll be able to use Thunderbolt, obviously, and take it down. Which is too bad. I love Psyduck. I love Psyduck so much. She was one of my favorite characters in the anime, too, to be honest with you. Um, sign? <laughs> uh, Alright, and a Golduck. So she's actually going to send out a pretty cool Pokemon against us. Psyduck is one of, one of my... One of my uh, favorite water types in the first generation. Uh, level 37 Psyduck will be able to take it down with the Thunderbolt. So I'm kind of thinking that we will not speed through Kindle Road and that this episode might just be a little bit long, which is fine. We're going to go through Kindle Road and Mount, uh, Mount Ember, which is a place that we haven't seen yet here on One Island or Not Island. Uh, if you are a fan of the anime, these are the Sevi, Sevi Islands. Um, I believe it's the not island is this one in the anime. Let's just do it. All right, so we're just gonna we're just gonna go. We're just gonna go and hope for the best. Uh, I would highly recommend stocking up on additional balls though if you don't have any. Uh, and let's see. Oh, we cleared it. Oh, I was just about to say we cleared it without any random encounters, and I was wrong. And of course, it's a tentacle, so it's not even like a a cool Pokemon that we can look at. Now you will notice that uh, the place around me is not the Kanto map. The reason for that is simple. We're not really in Kanto anymore during during this episode. So, if we're not in Kanto, then let's, uh, let's not be there. Behind me is Mount Ember, which is pretty cool. So, this is a trainer uh, that's not required, but obviously we're going to go through it anyways. And I will speed her up, though, because uh, unfortunately for us, she is Chugur to level 47. Nice. Uh, she has a bunch of Meowths, which we have already seen before, and a Pikachu, which is interesting. Uh, we'll be able to brick break it and unfortunately also get paralyzed and there we go We took down all of her team members um, I'm gonna speed through stuff like that with the actual built-in like speed through that's in the emulators uh, just so that We don't have to sit there all day uh, Watching fights that aren't really that big of a deal. So there the other new Pokemon that we can find here is let's go over it right now so the two new Pokemon that you can find on Kindle Road are actually of the same family. That is Ponyta and its evolutionary form, Rapidash. Now, Rapidash we're going to look at because they're pretty much the same Pokemon. I highly suggest picking up a Ponyta if you can, uh, or a Rapidash right now, because it's going to help in just a couple of minutes if you don't have a fire type on your team. Now, if we look at Rapidash's stats, its speed is actually pretty high, and its attack is a solid 100. The only problem is, is that fire is special in this game so all of its attacks that it could get a stab bonus in it's not going to be able to do because it doesn't really have any obviously uh, fire physical attacks which is really really unfortunate now I do recommend picking up a Rapidash if you just don't have any fire types on your team and you really really need one its stats are actually fairly decent uh, it's kind of frail but with just that fire typing I think you'll be able to do some things that you didn't think you'd be able to do with Rapidash 
And finally, uh, a Pokemon that I totally forgot even was on this route, and I actually ran into it after I had recorded the episode, is Persian, number 53 in the Pokedex. Uh, the same things that I said about Meowth still apply, except for its ability actually changes when it evolves. Instead of being Pickup, where it picks up items, it now is Limber. Persian cannot be paralyzed, meaning that it gets to keep that solid speed stat of 115, which is huge, but all of its other stats are trash. Uh, I don't really recommend picking up a Persian, and you probably, if you wanted one on your team, would have already had one by now if you had a Meowth, which you could have gotten all the way back in Cerulean. That's right, Ponyta! So cool. Uh, we were able to find one of our own, which is great. Um, we're going to see if we can catch it, because obviously we don't have this on our team. Uh, or in our Pokedex at all, so worth getting, right? Uh, we're gonna go ahead, lower it down, and I'm gonna paralyze it too, just in case, because we don't really have that many that many balls to be able to use right now. So I'm just gonna go ahead and make sure that we throw a Thunder Wave on it. And this way we're not gonna run into too many problems. Um, one Great Ball should be able to catch this Pokemon, no problemo. At least that's what I'm hoping. So we'll go ahead, use Bag. Great Ball! I don't really have that many balls to waste. One. Two, three, boom, gotcha. Ponyta was caught. Our Pokedex is like super good right now. Super good, we've done such a good job in this game. Its body is light and its legs are incredibly powerful. It can clear Iyer's Rock in one leap. Give a nickname to the captured Ponyta. Obviously we're not gonna use Ponyta on the team. Uh, this is another trainer. I'm gonna go ahead and go through real quick because he's gonna have three Pokemon uh, that we've seen before. I'm just gonna go ahead and drop a Thunderbolt. Now we are gonna need... Oh, I didn't mean to use Thunderbolt there. We're gonna use Brick Break. Um, we are gonna have to use a Max Revive later because we are des desperately going to need um, our our Raichu when we get there. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and destroy that Raticate. And there we go. Camper Bryce was destroyed. 720 Poke Dollars for winning. Not bad at all. Um, I am going to... I'm going to leave her out, actually, and we are going to switch Luna uh, here. I will say, before you come and explore this area, you also want to make sure that you're bringing your Pokemon that has Strength and Surf with you. That is absolutely necessary to be able to get everything that you need to get. Now, there's an item down here, and we could break these rocks, but we can't yet because we don't have Rock Smash. So we'll go ahead and battle this trainer. There isn't a day in which we don't train. This is Crush Girl Tanya would like to battle. She's going to have Fighting-type Pokemon, so it's actually a terrible idea to switch into uh, our Clefable. So I'm going to make sure that we switch out because that would be a terrible idea. Uh, we're just going to obviously switch to Bahamut and go ahead and use Wing Attack. Oops. And uh, Hitmonchan as well. So he's got a, she's kind of got cool Pokemon. Hitmonlee, Hitmonchan. We've taken them down before, so it's not really that cool, that big of a deal. But we'll be able to take her down. All right. Uh, up here is another item that we can get, but we want to make sure that we take this easy way. Now, we can't break any of these rocks yet, but it is worth mentioning that um, eventually if you break them, uh, they have the chance of having either Geodudes or Gravelers. Uh, which is pretty cool. If you don't already have any of those Pokemon, you can get them with Rock Smash. Alright, so we're going to use Poseidon, go down and grab this, which is a Max Repel, which is good. We actually could use that. Oh, we could use that so well. Thank you, Vaporeon. I appreciate it. Uh, and we are going to go ahead and switch, because this is going to be a swimmer. Um, I have to, I have to res you. All right, let's go ahead and use Raichu to take this guy down. I took a break from swimming, only to have you challenge me. So he's going to have three Pokemon, a, uh, a Shelter that we fought before, uh, which we'll be able to take down no problem, and a Cloyster, which we fought before. Again, absolutely no problem. And a Wartortle, which, of course, we have fought before. Down, Swimmer, Garrett will go. We'll get 152 Poke Dollars for winning. Uh, I would say that the Swimmer's probably... Oops, didn't mean to use Surf there. But I would say that the they're probably not worth it, to be honest with you. Uh, right there, we can't actually get that item that's there. So we will have to come back here. The only reason I'm doing this now is because... Well, this is a good time to do it, right? Um, this, is, this is going to be until... For the next few episodes, anyways, we're going to be tackling the side quests that we actually have available to us right now. So... Let's just do that. <laughs> My big brother and I make an awesome combination. So this is going to be a double battle. Unfortunately, I forgot that Spearow is still in the second slot. Um, so this is going to be Crush, Kinmic, and Kia. 
would like to battle. They are going to send out a Machoke and a Primeape, so they only have these two Pokemon. Uh, level 39 each. Now, these guys are actually pretty great to versus train later on. Um, that's personally where I do my training. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and obviously switch Spearow out for uh, uh, Bahamut because they're fighting types. Thunderbolt is not going to kill Primeape, which is pretty interesting. Uh, we're going to use Quick Attack on Primeape just to take care of it and Wing Attack on Machoke. So Primeape will go down level 39. This is a wonderful, wonderful area to use Versus Seeker on to train. Obviously, Chu is going to hit level 48. That is way too powerful. Uh, unfortunately, Spiro is going to get level like 10 from that. Uh, no, level 9. Okay. And Bahamut's going to take down Machoke. Hopefully. Really? Do, the, do both of these Pokemon have like a, a Focus Sash that I just can't see? It's crazy, man. It's crazy. All right, go ahead and... Just finish them off with a quick attack. Machoke will go down. Level 39 Machoke, man. 406. Spiro's gonna level up. Oh my god. My bad. My bad. And Bahamut, of course, didn't. Huh. I can't believe it. We got 1,872 Poke Dollars for winning, which is pretty damn sweet. Uh, that's one of the reasons why I thoroughly enjoy fighting those guys. Now, you can also get a double battle right here if you time it perfectly well. If I'm not mistaken, I'm pretty sure um, you can do that. So we'll just go ahead and make sure that we're ready for them. Let's see. Dress appropriate for battle. So, unfortunately, either I didn't time it right or you can't do a double battle here. I could have sworn you can, but maybe you can't. So, he's going to send out two Pokemon. He has a Machop, which we are just going to finish with a Thunderbolt and a Machoke, um, which we should be able to kill with a... No, okay. Uh, we'll go ahead and use... There we go. We were able to take him down. 888 Poke Dollars. So, this is not a double battle. The these guys will fight you different at different times. Uh, Thunderbolt for Machoke will take him down, and, or for Machop, we're going to switch because I don't really want Raichu to die again, and Wing Attack will take down Machoke, and Bahamut grew to level 42, which is pretty gnarly. Right here is Light the Fire in Your Heart. This is the Ember Spa, which is actually a very, very cool area. Another reason why this is one of my favorite areas to train in. We can talk to this guy. Soaking in a hot spring sure is therapeutic. Uh, sure, dude. Sure. It is, because if you do this... The water is perfectly warm. Cory and the Pokemon were fully refreshed. This is a instant heal space. Seriously. That's amazing. Um, so you can come in here and get fully healed. You can go out there and, and, and do Versus Seeker with those trainers. And you can pretty much get a ton of stuff. Right there we get HMO6. That shatters boulders as if they were made of crackers. That is Rock Smash. Uh, so we finally have Rock Smash. We can use it right now to get through these rocks. Um, if we actually go to our HM and look, Rock Smash isn't actually a, ver uh, a very good move. It is a 20 base fighting attack. So I'm going to open this up to see if we can teach this to anybody that we would want to. Uh, unfortunately, Bruce is one of the few people that can learn it. That doesn't have it. Uh, that basically, I have no problem replacing a lot of these, right? So his 6085, it may make the folk flinch. Uh, probably worth getting rid of. Jump kick is probably worth getting rid of. Uh, it's a it's a base 70 95 percent. If it misses, the user hurts itself. Um, we already have something that's a little bit better. So I'm actually going to get rid of jump kick, even though uh, we just have so many fighting attacks on Hitmonlee anyways that it doesn't it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. So Bruce learned Rock Smash. So now we have HMO6. Which is great, because now we can get those items that were there that we couldn't get before. I could have sworn there were items in hidden in here, but I guess not. My hot springs water keeps my skin younger than my age. Oh. If only that worked for everyone, you know? You know what I mean? So we're going to backtrack just a little bit so that we can get those... Get those items. I think, I think that that's a good call. Especially since that one's literally just right here. All right. We'll go ahead and use Rock Smash real quick. We don't need to see the animation for all those. And we will get an Aether. Totally not worth it, but, you know, it's fine. We'll go ahead and use this, just so that we can break through. All right. And right down here, again, is that area that we could have Rock Smashed before. Ooh, almost screwed up there. Right here. Appears to be breakable. We'll use Rock Smash. Rock Smash. And we'll fight a Geodude. Uh, we're just going to run because we've already seen that. And right there is a Carbos. So pretty worth it if you need some speed on your team. Um, obviously, the vitamins are 
also sell for a lot if you don't want to use them or you can't use them. Your Pokemon might be full up on EVs, and that's totally cool. Uh, we'll go ahead and fight her real quick. Could you help with my training? Sharon's going to have a couple Pokemon, uh, including a Minky and a Primate. Pretty super weak, so we'll be able to crush them because we outspeed them. And as long as you outspeed a Primate, you will be able to defeat it. Alright, so now we will be able to surf again. That was Kindle Road, for the most part. That was almost the entirety of Kindle Road. Obviously, we'll, we'll fight this streamer. Uh, this swim. <laughs> this streamer. Uh, he's only got one Pokemon, which is a Starmie Thunderbolt. We haven't seen we haven't seen a Raichu against a Starmie in quite a while. That's not totally true. I think the last episode there was one. Our Raichu is way too strong, though. Way too overleveled. 152 Poke Dollars for winning, which is great. Uh, and we'll go ahead and fight her. The weather's gorgeous. Perfect for a battle. This is what happens, guys, when you have me fight every trainer. Uh, level 1, level 49. Oh, man. So this trainer is going to have two Seedras, which is pretty cool. I like Seedra. Uh, it's Evolution Kingdra is a lot better, but not available in this game. Uh, in this, you know, post the pre... The story mode. Right here, we'll go ahead and fight this guy. He's just going to have a bunch of Goldeens, if I remember correctly. Yep. Uh, he's basically the Magikarp guy, uh, except he's got... Goldines and Sea Kings. So, not the most fun. And we defeated Fisherman Tommy. He gave us a lot of money, though, for that. So, that that's uh, that's a good thing, right? Keep in mind that money is always useful. Uh, right. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Pretty weak Tentacool. Oh, my God. F level 40 Tentacool. That's pretty cool. If you can't find a Tentacruel, uh, you can get one of those and just use a rare candy on it, and it'll level up immediately. So I'm going to be using my item finder a lot, too, and I'm sorry about the keyboard clicks, guys. And Mount Ember! Hey, that's, that's what's behind me! 